Hello guys, so here we are in our first C programming tutorial video and today I'll be showing you how to download code blocks. It's actually a piece of software where we will write down our C code. So let's do it. Down there in the description you have a link and when you click on it, it will take you to this page. So you can download code blocks for Windows, Linux and Mac OS. I'll be downloading it for Windows and the best file to choose from these here is this one codeblock 17.12 mingwsetup.exe it's also recommended by this web page and because it has a compiler and debugger for C and C++ and we have two options here to download it from foshub or sourceforge.net I'll do it from sourceforge.net and our download should start shortly in a few seconds okay it shouldn't take long uh, about a minute or two even less if you have some higher internet speed and just wait after the download download is complete just click here and start the installation process click on next I agree next uh, the destination folder I think it's best for you to leave it right here in program files x86 if you want to change it choose anywhere you want but it's easy it's this is the easiest way so click on install and just wait for it to install now as you can see we have a shortcut right here and while we're waiting this to install we can make a new folder uh, code blocks projects and that is the folder where we will uh, save all of our projects that we make in code blocks you don't have to do it but it's recommended for you to know where your files are and right now we have a question do you want to run code blocks now no we can run it through this shortcut next finish and once we finish that just double click on code blocks and right now we want to create a new project so just click here create a new project you should check you should click here on the console application just double click it and choose C language and project type title should be uh, I don't know just title it's not important so you can leave it here and code blocks projects or you can change it to where I've put it on the desktop where my codeblocks project folder is and I will change it and just click on next and you should leave this as it is you need to have this compiler right here and just click finish and right here you click here and click on me and there you have it this is your uh, code blocks environment and you just need to that's th this is the place where you will write your code usually your code blocks will look a little bit different because I have uh, the color would be will be white so in the next video I will actually show you how to choose these colors because it's uh, a lot more visible to you and it's a little not convenient when it's all white so uh, I hope you like the video if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comment section down below